The view outside my window right now is currently pretty crazy. There is a ton of snow, but greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Nicholas Che, but today we're gonna to be talking about some of the best side hustles that you can start in 2021. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video for you guys is that I know a lot of people out there are going to be students. And given the fact that you might still be taking online classes, that gives you a lot of opportunity and time that you might not have had any other time in your life before to really invest in your hobbies and side hustles to turn them into sustainable sources of income. Now, as someone who has built up several businesses over the past couple of years, some of which have failed and some of which are still continuing to grow, today I've come up with a list of very easy and accessible ideas that anyone can start in 2021. Now, first off, one of the best side hustles is going to be starting your own apparel or merch company. Now, I will say from personal experience that this is going to be one of the most time consuming and biggest investments you're going to have to make. But if you do it properly and really put in the time and the commitment, I promise that the benefits are going to be tenfold for you. Over the past year, our team built our very own brand, Careway, from the ground up setting up our own website, finding a distributor, taking the product photos, launching a campaign, all in the span of a couple of months. But in all honesty, it has been very fulfilling because you can see the entire process from start to finish. And if you're someone who likes a very hands-on approach, then starting your own apparel company is one of the best ways to dip your feet into the business and can also generate sustainable sources of income if you continue to expand and grow. However, like I said, this is definitely going to take a lot of time, research, and commitment. So don't think you can go into this idea half-assed because otherwise it's going to be a project that's inevitably going to fail. Next up, another side hustle that I've personally started is going to be a production company. This is a project that my girlfriend and I decided to come up with last year as a way for both of us to not only expand our portfolio, but to really put our creative skills to the test and offer our services to a variety of clients and honestly has been a pretty fulfilling experience. The name of our company is ASIM Studio. And although we haven't done a ton of outreach to bring in new clients, the projects we've worked on have not only been very fulfilling to help hone our photography, videography, graphic design, and editing skills, but also are a great way to generate additional sources of income. However, out of all these side hustles to start, this is definitely going to be the one where you have to have the most technical skills as starting a production company is not as easy as it sounds as there's going to be a lot of equipment that you're going to need to invest in and ensure you have a qualified team who can fulfill all these requirements however one of the best ways to start a production company is going to be teaming up with your creative friends and having an arsenal of graphic designers photographers videographers illustrators and coming together to work towards a single vision is not only going to help you propel your creative visions further but it's also just a really great way to collaborate with other creatives now a similar aspect to starting a production company is going to be using your own skills as a freelancer this can take several forms with the most practical ones are probably going to be something like a website designer, a software developer, or a video editor. Offering your skills as a freelancer on websites such as Fiverr is a really great way to bring in consistent sources of income. And the great thing about freelancing services is that you can really work on your own time. So this is something that's completely doable for a lot of you students out there. So definitely take the time and research to figure out what skills you're going to be the best at that you can offer as a freelancer. Next up, another side hustle I started last year is going to be my very own podcast. As a creator, one way that podcasting really stands out to me is that it's a really effective way to get your message out to your audience as you don't have to worry about setting up shots, expensive camera gear, lighting. And for me personally, as a consumer, I love listening to podcasts because they don't tie you down to a single space and you can listen to them on the go, in the car, or anytime you're just going for a workout. And the great thing about starting your own podcast is that you don't need fancy or expensive equipment to get you started. In fact, some of our very own podcast episodes have been recorded straight from our phone, but if you want to step up above the iPhone quality, you can still Still invest in a microphone around $50 that's going to get you a lot better quality. To edit your podcast, you can use free programs like Audacity or even GarageBand. And since you're only dealing with audio, the editing is a lot simpler. Lastly, now that you recorded and edited your first podcast, all you have to do is distribute it and make it available for the world to hear. That's where the sponsor of today's video, Buzzsprout, comes in handy. Buzzsprout hosts your podcast and helps you distribute it on all major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. They make the distribution process really easy and automatic, so you don't have to worry about individually putting your podcast on all available streaming platforms manually. All you have to do is upload your edited episode to Buzzsprout, create a title along with the description and publish it. Just like that, your episode will be instantly available for your audiences to listen to. They also have very advanced analytics so you can track exactly where people are listening to your podcast from all around the world and their pricing is very affordable. You even get 90 free days to start. If you do want to start your own podcast in 2021, I definitely recommend checking out Buzzsprout as they make the entire process very seamless from start to finish. Don't stress yourself out too much about gear and really just get started on creating your own content. Next up, a pretty niche but still a great side hustle to start is going to be a social media consultant. Now this may sound pretty unique, but there's definitely a market for it. But if you're someone who has skill and experience in the realms of social media, there are literally dozens of big brands or individual creators who could use the help of a consultant to manage and grow their own brands. In today's day and age, you guys obviously know that Instagram and social media marketing are one of the best and most influential ways to impact a consumer's decisions. So offering your services as a consultant is a really great way to get your foot in the door and get to work with influential creators and brands. Although this isn't a path I've personally taken, 
I can definitely recommend it for someone who may not like to be more in front of the camera, but still has a lot of experience behind the camera. And finally, another profitable side hustle to start is going to be digital courses. Over the past year, my team and I came together and created our very own digital course called Nick's Declassified that walked you through the entire college application process and we made it publicly available on Skillshare for free. However, the really great thing about making a digital course is that you really only have to put in the work up front. Once you have all the editing and production down, you can easily distribute it for anyone to use. In addition to that, rather than digital courses, you can also sell something like an ebook. If you have a lot of knowledge, whether it's in video editing, graphic design, there's a huge market out there for people who enjoy getting their information digitally. So writing and publishing an ebook is super easy to distribute, but it's also a hassle-free method of generating passive income. So guys, I hope this gave you a better understanding of what are some side hustles you can definitely start in 2021, as this is probably going to be one of the best years where you have the most amount of time to really focus on the things you're passionate about and scale it to the levels you want it to grow. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to check out Buzzsprout, which will be linked in the description down below if you are looking to start your own podcast. This is a distribution platform I've been personally using and is a great way for us to get our podcast to a bunch of different platforms all around the world. Subscribe for more videos and as always folks, don't stress. Finesse.